Red River Church, it's so nice to be with you. Uh, we are on location here in the Billingsley household in Roseau County, up in northern Minnesota. I'm so happy to be able to spend uh, part of this time uh, worshiping with you in the midweek worship. Uh, please join us in singing a few songs. Thank you. 
service. So glad to have you here. Um, it was really tempting not to uh, go do this outside as it's a beautiful day today, but of course, beautiful day in my neighborhood means lots of motorcycles, lots of people mowing their lawns, and so I decided just to come back in here. Plus, my wall here actually helps uh, a little bit with the illustration that we're going to talk about today because the word that has been on my mind uh, for the last week has been the word fortress. And so, I want to share from Psalm 62, verses 1 through 8. My soul finds rest in God alone. My salvation comes from Him. He alone is my rock and my salvation. He is my fortress. I will never be shaken. How long will you assault a man? Would all of you throw to him down this leaning wall, this tottering fence? They fully intend to topple him from his lofty place. They take delight in lies with their mouths they bless, but in their, in their hearts they curse. Find rest, O my soul, in God alone my hope comes from Him. He alone is my rock and my salvation. He is my fortress. I will not be shaken. My salvation and my honor depend on God. He is my mighty rock, my refuge. Trust in Him at all times, O people. 
Pour out your hearts to him, for God is our refuge. And of course, this psalm is quite well known. It's written by David, and it talks about two things, right? It talks about God and how he is our fortress and our salvation. And it talks about the words of this world. Uh, the words that people throw out, that the enemy throws out, that try and topple us and try and knock us down, like a teetering wall, it says, right? And God is our rock. He is our salvation. He is our fortress. And as I looked at that word fortress, I uh, looked it up in, the, in my uh, little dictionary I have on my computer, and the Hebrew word is miska, which can mean high place, refuge, secure height or a retreat so just think about that right it's a it's a place that's safe a high place a retreat uh, a refuge a place to go to uh, when we're in trouble and David certainly understood that in his life and I think we can understand that as well that we are have we have times in our lives where we need to retreat where we need to go back to the secure place where God is and he is our fortress. He is that safe place for us. Um, there are different translations of the Bible that translate it as fortress or defense or stronghold. The place where we can find security and safety. And I don't know about you, but uh, there's all kinds of uh, ideas that go with this in our world, right? Man-made fortresses. We can think of great castles or great buildings, uh, places that can easily be defensed, right? And those fortresses are, are incredible. I don't know if you've ever had the opportunity to go to maybe an old military fort of some sort. Uh, oftentimes they're up on a high place, on a, on a point where you can see very far all the way around and then built uh, very strong, right? With stone or rock or whatever is very strong around to help build that fortress. And yet we know what happens to those man-made fortresses. Uh, they are doomed to have and eventually fall apart, right? They're doomed to eventually decay and give way to what happens in our world and in our, nature, in, in our uh, societies. And what we have here is a fortress that cannot be decayed or worn down or broken. It is God himself and the presence of God and the existence of his Holy Spirit in our lives. It is unbreakable, unshakable. It is the foundation, as David says. And maybe for you, uh, an illustration that could be helpful to, to think about it is uh, maybe as a kid. This is what I was thinking about at least. As a kid, I remember playing the game Tag, right? And I don't know if you ever played the game Tag and you would have a base, uh, a safe place for someone to go to in this game of tag, they were starting to get in trouble, right? Or a little bit tired. I know we often played tag that way. And, you know, you'd get tired, you'd run to that base. And oftentimes it was maybe a sprint between you and another person to get to that base and to put your hand on it first before you got tagged and were hit, right? And that base um, was such a, a place of security. And oftentimes I remember sitting there and the person who was trying to tag me standing right there just waiting for you to get off right and and you know you might take your hand off for a second to kind of tease them I don't know if you ever did that I certainly did and I know my brother did <laughs> tease that person right like you can touch me right now but not now now but not now right and that was a, a, a form of fortress a, a form of security and safety and that's what God offers to us but of course much less trivial than that. It's a place where we can be uh, taken care of spiritually, physically, and emotionally. And uh, so I want us to take that word fortress and really lean into it and understand that God is there protecting us all the time. He is winning the war. He is winning the battle against evil in our world and wants to help us win the battle against evil in our lives uh, and through us in our community and in our world. And so be ready to be used by God, but also be recognized that he is our fortress, our solid foundation, our place to stand. And so with that, let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day and for the security you offer to us, that our spirit may rest securely in your presence, and that it knows where it's, our spirit knows where our home is, that we know where our home is, and it is with you. 
And as we live on this earth, Lord, may you continue to show us your protection. May you continue to reveal to us your security and your safety that you have available to us. And may we turn to you, Lord, to be our foundation, our fortress in this time. Lord, we pray and thank you for listening to us. And we pray that you continue to lend your protection to us, that you continue to lend your discernment and wisdom to us as we navigate these days where we face uh, challenges and different things going on in this world that, uh, that are uncommon to us for sure. And we pray that you just continue to give us courage and faith and boldness. Uh, and may we step aside, take that fear and cast it aside. May we lean into you and just be confident in who you are and who you called us to be. We thank you, Lord, for hearing our prayers. And we thank you for protecting us. And we pray that you continue to protect us and our loved ones and those all around us. And that you continue to give wisdom to our leaders and our leadership. And uh, guide us and lead us through this. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We're going to sing uh, Jonathan and Jody, and Trina are going to share one more song, and it's by my request. It's maybe a familiar hymn to many of you. It's called, A Mighty Fortress is Our God. And it's an old hymn, and it talks about relying on our own strength and how if we do that, we're going to lose. And that there is an enemy out there. There is a foe, and God is much, much more powerful than it. And so please join for one last song, A Mighty Fortress is Our God.